Kilauea Volcano Update. Activity continues as 300 plus earthquakes hit in 24 hours. The USGS geologist announced that that means that there is another eruption imminent. There's also fears that the lava in its channel flowing into Kapoho Bay area could uh, spill over from its borders. The eruption of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano shows no signs of slowing down. Earthquakes continue to shake the volcano's summit and lava flows continue from explosive fissure number eight as USGS Geological Survey track the activity. Georgina, Georgina Laud of Express UK reports on this today. USGS are continuing to monitor Kilauea's activity. They're hoping to predict what will happen next at the volcano's uh, explosive volcano activity. Recent images produced by the USGS have shown that Halemaumau crater has nearly doubled in size since mid-May. The eruption started May 3rd, so it's well over a month now. Halemaumau crater is located inside the summit of Kilauea. The USGS said magma in the summit magma chamber has drained over the past month due to the lower East Rift Zone eruption, causing much of the floor and rim of the Halemaumau crater to drop or collapse. These changes have resulted in a much deeper crater with rubble covering the floor. The crater now reaches below the previous crater floor with the deepest part measuring at about 900 feet. On June 9th, scientists from USGS placed GPS stations around the Halemaumau crater to determine better, to better monitor and measure the ongoing subsidence of Halemaumau crater and the adjacent caldera floor. So with the GPS stations there, scientists can monitor the seismic activity as well as where the lava remains around the crater. How many earthquakes have hit Big Island of Hawaii in 24 hours? Today's earthquakes have continued at the summit in Kilauea, over 363 eruptions measured in the past 24 hours. Eruptions meaning earthquakes in the past day, according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO. These earthquakes are contributing to the subsidence of the Halemaumau crater and are also releasing ash and toxic gas into the atmosphere, the sulfur dioxide. Levels of gas from the summit dropped from the highs reaching over the weekend, but residents with breathing, breathing difficulties could still remain affected. Now, is the lava still erupting from Kilauea? As the earthquakes continue towards the summit of Kilauea, one of its many fissures continues to violently spew lava. That's fissure number eight, even though they have activity in fissure 16 and 18. Yesterday, the USGS recorded three active lava fountains at fissure eight, catapulting lava as high as 180 feet. This lava is now feeding a northwards traveling stream, which is feeding a channel into the ocean on the eastern side of Big Island. And as we see, it's the, uh, this lava is also producing new land, a delta seaward that is over 240 acres in size. Large plumes of this toxic lays, the, when the lava hits the ocean water, causing hydrochloric acid and shards of tiny glass, the lava haze is the, the, what we call lays, are created when the molten lava meets the cool ocean water and sending clouds of hydrochloric acid mist and glass shards and steam into the atmosphere. This is to be totally avoided for health reasons, of course. The amount of lays produced near the ocean entry remains high as lava continues to pour into the sea. Hawaii Civil uh, Defense have said gas emissions from this fissure eruption 
and that the ocean entry continue to be very high. The Department of Health recommends limiting outside activities and staying indoors if you have breathing issues. Thank you.